All classes were canceled at Southern Oregon University today. One teacher and her group of students decided to make the most of it. NBC 5's Roma Villa Vicencio went to a class this evening in Ashland that was held at a local park, and she has more tonight. Roma. Art, so many people go to Ashland's Lithia Park for different reasons, but I can bet you this is one of the few times you'll see a group of journalism students taking a class at the park. For this group of people, it wasn't about the beautiful leaves yoga, or a nice walk down Ashland's Lithia Park that brought them together. It's an inspiration. It was about writing down ideas, sharing thoughts, and most importantly, journalism. These are students who write for Southern Oregon University's newspaper, The Siskiyou, voluntarily meeting at the park because classes were canceled due to a false threat. I was a little scared initially when we got the threat, um, just because everyone's been on high alerts. It makes me angry that colleges and universities, that teachers and students who are working toward a better future are being threatened. But these students have a job to do. They've been covering the tragic shooting in Roseburg, and Wednesday were finding themselves having to come up with ways to report about their own campus and its safety. I think it was great and discussing everything that's gone on and how we can uh, get it all in the news. Their professor, Julie Aiken, said she couldn't stand for a threat to hinder her students' education. My point in having class today was to let our students know that we can't be restrained by fear, that we have to continue doing doing the work of reporting verifiable truth. Normally, Aikens and her 15 students would meet here at Brit Hall from 6 to 9. They usually go over story ideas and what they're going to do next for the school newspaper. Aikens hopes her students will be inspired and motivated to continue working hard and fight for an end to terrifying distractions. Enough is enough. I need it to end, you need it to end, and we need to help each other do that. Okay. Most of the students I talked to tonight told me despite the threat, they are actually pretty calm and ready to get back to class. Live in the newsroom, Roma Villavicencio, NBC5 News.